Hey, what's happening, guys? First of all, I just want to thank you for all your support over the channel announcement. Sorry we have to go that way, but I guess that's the way of the future. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Back on October 28th of last year, I posted a video called Beginner's Lesson Schematic to Breadboard. Well, today we're going to do the opposite of that, and we're going to go breadboard to schematic. Um, kind of like reverse engineering a circuit. And we're going to start out really simple, so don't worry if you're not experienced in this. What we have here is a 555 timer set up as an A-stable multivibrator. Just really easy circuit. You can see there's only a few components. There's the 555 timer. A capacitor for timing, a resistor to limit the current to the LED, a potentiometer which takes the place of the two resistors you generally see here, a uh, capacitor on pin 5, and then a couple of crisscrossy wires there that connect pin 6 to pin 2 and also connect our reset to VCC. So let's see how we're going to do this it's not very hard all right the first thing you're going to want is your circuit in front of you because you're going to have to be referring to it it doesn't have to be powered up so don't worry about that then what i like to do and this is simply my preference you don't have to do it this way i like to start by drawing two lines One in red, one in black. This one is ground, and this one is VCC. In our case, it is 5 volts DC. So now we have somewhere to talk from, just somewhere to start from. Now, let's start with our 555 timer, and I'm just going to put it right here in the middle of the circuit and label our pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Again, this is simply a starting point. So let's begin down here at the bottom. Pin 1, bottom left. It goes to ground. And it has the ground side of that capacitor in it. Which goes to pin 2. But let's just start with pin 1 goes to ground. Alright. And then... Above it, pin 8 goes to VCC. I always like to start with power. Some people prefer to start with signal and do power last. It, it's totally up to you. Now, in between pins 1 and 2, we have a capacitor. And in this case, it is a 470 microfarad. So we'll just label it right here. C1. I can't put it there. I'll put it over here. C1. And then we'll come down here. We'll have a legend. Put C1. It's 470 microfarad. All right. Pin 3 goes to a resistor. That will be R1, which we'll now label down here. R1 is 1K. That goes to our diode, which is a light-emitting diode, with the cathode going to ground, and that would be D1. And, you know, we can put that down here if you want. D1 is a... 10 
millimeter green LED. All right, now we're getting there. So now we have this wire going from pin four to pin eight. Pin four is our reset. It needs to be held high or else the circuit is not going to reset. So you could draw a line between four and eight, but I'm going to draw it like this so that we understand it is going directly there. Next, we have another capacitor on pin five. That is C2, and it is 0 0.01 microfarad. All right, so now we have pins eight, seven, and six, which I have hooked up with a potentiometer. So that means we have a resistor here, and that will be R2, and we have another one which will be R3. So R2, that's R3, that's R2, and we'll just say they are 2.2K each. And finally, we have our line from pin six, which comes over and connects to pin two. And that is the entirety of the circuit. Now, at this point, what I like to do is label points that have more than one connection. So right here, where pin six comes to pin two and then pin two goes through there to that, I would call that, for instance, point A. And then up here, where the resistor is meeting on that line, I would call that point B. Here, where this one is meeting, I would call that point C. And then when you want to try and take this again later and put it back to the breadboard, you can tell you, you can, you can make yourself a little legend like this. This says point A is timing cap and pin six, point B is R3 to pin seven, and point C is pin one anode of C1 See how that works? Make yourself little notes. They will definitely help you out in the long run. I really hope this made some sense into you, made some sense for you, and helped you with your understanding. It's basically all just tracing which pins go to power, which pins go to each other, and what components maybe in between them so if you enjoyed this video i really hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and please if you can share the video help get the word out i'd really appreciate it all right that's it i'm out peace